welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is austin betha i'm really glad to have you here please do watch it on subscribe button before you leave and also give this video a very big thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed watching it. okay let me tell you the reason i chose to do this particular video tonight is because there's something i want to mention to you people okay it's not really about the indomie tax the housemates had today of course i'm going to give you guys a summary of what happened in today's task but there's something i feel like we need to laugh about collectively as betters because the team reached to laugh Okay, so let me quickly summarize today's tax. It was courtesy of Indomie. And of course, they had to do this in teams. So we had about seven teams today. Team one included Kid Wire and Wathoni. Team two, Neil and Erica. Team three, Lucy and Ozo. Team four, Tolani Badge and Tricky T. Team five, Lekon and Dorothy. Team six, Prince and Nengi. And team seven, Bright O and V. And all they were expected to do was take 30 minutes each to cook Indomie. Now, before they even got to that part, they had a very fun game i found it really hilarious biggie asked them to move into the arena now when they got into the arena there was this pool of balls in different colors and there were toy peppers toy carrots and all of that stuff so each of the housemates actually had an indomie card with listed ingredients that they had to find in that pool so for example on my card if i have green pepper if i have chicken if i have carrot i have to try and find all of those items in that pool filled with different balls guys it was very very tasky i mean they had to scatter the balls it was so hilarious but then again, like I said, these things were toys. For example, if you have chicken, you go in the pool, you'll find like a toy chicken, a toy fowl. You know, you have to bring it out and all of that. So they did that round first and then Biggie told them to move back into the house. Now, when they got into the house, they had to move to the next stage. Now, this particular stage had them cooking Indomies in their various styles and all of that, yeah? So for example, Prince and Nengi were in the same group, yeah? So all the listed items that Nengi could find on her own card had to be given to Prince and everything Prince was able to find were given to Nengi. So what that automatically meant was that Nengi was going to cook with Prince's ingredients while Prince would cook with Nengi's ingredients, okay? And all of these ingredients are things that represent their cultures. So for example, yeah, Prince is from Imo State, Nigeria. And you know, those toy things he picked, those toy carrots, toy peppers, toy all of those things, Biggie actually brought in the real items. So those items he picked were then given to Nengi to cook something for him, you get? So it was more like go into the arena first, pick up your five special ingredients in toy forms, then come back into the house. Biggie then provides those things in their original forms and then you get to cook. Each team had 30 minutes to cook. Biggie split them into batches. So for batch one, we had two teams. Batch two, we had two teams, you know, like that, so that the process would be faster. Now, after they finish cooking for 30 minutes, they will now carry the food and go into the arena and then do a presentation about their cultural heritage. Now, let me still use Prince and Nengi, for example, because I mean, I've started with them already. So this time around, when they get into the arena, the food Prince cooked, he would give to Nengi. The food Nengi cooked, she would give to Prince, you know, and then they'll both taste it and grade themselves. Now, before they grade themselves, Prince would say something about his place, about the Igbo culture and all of that stuff. While Nengi was also talking about her place, she mentioned that she's from Nembe. Hi, Izon. Yeah. Izon Kebemeo. I'm from <laughs> Nembe, local government area in Bayoso State. Our local dance, my this. Now, when they are done, they will go and sit down. The next team in their batch will do the same thing. After which, Biggie told them to move back into the house and make sure not to mention to anybody. Now, when they all completed this round of cooking and then going to make a presentation of where they are from and all of that stuff, they then came back into the house and created a play. Now, what was this play about, guys? This was actually the fun part for me. So, you know how a guy wants to marry a girl from another family, right? But then the families are at loggerheads. Probably the groom is Yoruba, while the bride to be is Igbo or from another tribe, and they are just at each other's neck. Guys, V cracked me up today. V, Dora, Neo. Um, in fact, all the housemates they did a very pretty job because they got me laughing so hard. I'm just going to insert a clip of where the groom to be was talking to his in-laws to be. Now, this our groom to be is no other person but Waya. Okay, Kid Waya came and scattered the whole thing, and then he was like, you know what? Let me never say. Let me just show you. One thing I've learned today is that you're all cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Who talks to their in laws to be like that? Like, Kid Oya is just a crazy person. He was like, You all are cockroaches. I'm like, Is this guy serious right now? 
Is this guy serious right now? V was just giving us the typical Yoruba mother that is angry that her son wants to marry from another tribe and she's really going at Dora and Dora is also giving it to her back to back you know Dora being the evil bride at some point she yanked off her wig like eh? I will wound you here who do you think you are? if not that my husband is here I'm trying to respect my husband I'm like man guys that presentation was mad like I really enjoyed it like mad in a good way mad in a good way because I really had fun okay now after they finished all of this Biggie then asked them to move back into the arena and then when they all got into the arena Biggie told them that he was pleased at their performances and all of that and for that particular reason all of them won the sum of 4 million naira now this 4 million naira is not individual you 4 million naira for all the housemates in the house for the 14 of them let me now tell you guys where Biggie killed me I mentioned to you yeah that Biggie told them to score their partners so let's go back to Nengi and Prince yeah Prince had to score Nengi. Nengi also had to score Prince. Now, Biggie said that as much as all of them won the sum of 4 million Naira collectively, each team is entitled to 570,000 Naira. Yes, I did do calculation. Each team is entitled to 570,000 Naira. But now, here is where the twist came in here. Yeah? Biggie told Prince that the score he gave to Nengi is actually his score. And the score Nengi gave to Prince is actually for Nengi. So for example, if Nengi scored Prince 9 and Prince scored Nengi 10, it obviously means that the 10 point goes to Prince while the 9 points goes to Nengi. So in that way, yeah, Biggie shared the money for them and told them that whoever has the highest point gets more money. So people that gave their partners low scores in the end, they use their hand, they do themselves. So for example, Kidwire and Watoni. Kidwire actually scored Watoni 7 points while Watoni scored Kidwire 10 points. So in reverse, it means that Watoni has 10 points and Kidwire has 7 points and Biggie used his hand to share the money for them. I think Watoni got about 370,000 while Kidwire got about 200,000 or thereabouts. I'm not really sure about the figures, okay? Nobody should quote me. But I'm just giving you an idea of how Biggie shared the money. You know, so of course, all of them are winners. I mean, at the end of the day, they still get small, small issues. So then they put them together, the money go, they grow. You know, that's their savings. You know, that's they're putting it drop by drop. They turn to ocean. Now, so it be for Biggie House. Guys, now that I've done with this part let's go to the part that i've been waiting for let me just tell you i was rushing down in the just because now i'm waiting they do me for body with that can you guys believe that praise this same praise we just come out on sunday said that him and katrina they were kissing aggressively i beg waiting katrina talk katrina said they were cuddling aggressively you see this aggressively when they talk this word aggressively go grow for their head if you grow for their head that word aggressive that word would only cost them. Say, one and they insult me like this. Because I don't understand. This one was kissing aggressively. This one was calling aggressively. You see, say their case, don't they be like that story when they inside Bible. When we say, Unajo, they lie. Una story, you know, don't correlate. You know, add up. He no adopt. Which one we say, would they kiss aggressively and would they call you aggressively? They say, they don't fuck up. They don't fuck up. They don't pass a semi-car carry can't tell you that because as a year am, the thing shocked me. It shocked me, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Aggressive. When I go soon bump picking name, I'm aggressive. Aggressive cuddling and aggressive kissing. Now, now, no. Now, we know what we see. Anything we want to use, now, I'm talk. Now, now, no. We now watch back of our TV. Now, not for you to deceive me, okay? Praise. I know what I watch. That part where I'm seeing a drag pants, I'm going to be that's the way she did drag. Now, aggressive dragging, Abby, because I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyways, that's all the gist I have for you people in this particular video. I just came to do small amen, but I just came to tell people that they are doing aggressive things up and down. And I just want to go and sleep aggressively because I'm aggressively tired. Thank you aggressively for watching my videos aggressively. Subscribe aggressively. More for reach 50k aggressively. Because now aggressive tenure will do so. Okay? Thank you so much and I'll see you aggressively in my next video. Thank you very much aggressively. Mwah.